morning you all so I'm just wiping off my eyebrows I got a henna eyebrow tinting kit off of eBay um, and that's the reason why I ordered those silicone makeup brushes I went yesterday and waxed off all my excess hair for my eyebrows that doesn't really grow so here's the only hair I have on my eyebrows it's very sparse and this henna eyebrow tint Team kit came with a 10 volume developer. A tube of tint. And this is in the number one. A little color bowl. And a mixing stick. Um, other supplies you would need. I got these silicone makeup brushes, some Q-tips, and I'm going to use some petroleum jelly, and this one's just the one from the dollar store, um, to kind of like keep it clean around the edges so that it doesn't bleed everywhere. So the directions say that you're supposed to put like a little bit of the tint in the bowl and it says do not put any um, like moisturizer on your skin prior to this or it may not adhere and then you're supposed to put five to ten drops of this so here goes how the tint looks in the little bowl I like the fact that this comes with the dropper. And I put five drops in mine. I've actually done this to others before. And this will be probably the first time I've done this to myself in a while. I used to go and get it done. So I'm mixing it with the end that has the little claw. I got this off of eBay. It was only $4.99. I'm not linking the seller just because it took a long time for it to get here. And I don't want anybody to say, oh, I said use the seller. And then, you know, something happens with their package. So I'm mixing it in the little bowl. So, let me see if you guys can see it. That's what it looks like in the little bowl. I'm going to sit this to the side. Now, the directions, I can honestly say, does come with the directions on the inside in English. And so... Basically, after you mix it together, you put it on your on your face, you leave it for 5 to 10 minutes. So, I'm probably going to I'm going to put this on in front of you guys and then I'll come back later once it's adhered and show you how it looks when I remove it. So, I'm using the skinnier brush to start off with. And I'm hoping I'm staying in frame. Cleaning it off with a Q-tip as I go. So 
just the front half of that eyebrow on this side. And I waxed my eyebrows yesterday, made sure I um, took and put some cream on them. Now I'm going in with the second brush, this one here. It's got a little pointy angle brush. Now the only problem I can foresee is like right here in the front half of the brow. There that goes. And these brushes clean off very easily. I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure I take the back side of a Q-tip and just make sure I keep it clean underneath and then just make sure I straighten out the shaping on top. Okay, so I'm going to do the other eyebrow off camera and I'll come back. Or you know what, let me just go ahead and do it on camera so you guys can see. Because I always get mad when I look at YouTube videos and they only do one side. That's good for an eyeshadow look, but it's horrible for like something like this. So, again... know we always have one side of our face that we have a little bit of a problem with. Thank God this doesn't dry super fast. There we go. front half of that one. See, and that's all the excess that's on the brush. And I'm just using microfiber face towels that I bought to clean it off. That's nice and clean. Then I'm going to go in with that second brush.
I'm just going to take and clean that off. goes and I'm just going to take a little petroleum jelly on a q-tip just in case uh, I've never worked with this particular brand of henna and just in case it starts sliding Clean out the top. So I'll be back in a while so you guys can see what the end results are, and then we'll do our eyeshadow look for today. Alrighty then. Mm. They're not twins, they're sisters. They look okay. I think I could live with this. Alright. Okay guys, so sat and let this sit on my face for a little bit more than 15 minutes. Had a little housework to do to let it dry. So this is what it looks like when it has oxidized and finished drying. So 100% dry. I can run my fingers across. It's not transferring. I'm using a baby wipe and I'm going to clean it off. I really like it, um, I feel like it gave me a little bit of a shape. bring it closer so you guys can see. So it did stain my skin and give me a little eyebrow shape. I definitely can say it did color the hair I have on there and made the hair darker as far as being something I could just leave the house with on. Uh, no. So, alrighty guys, let me know what you think. Be back in a minute with the full face routine makeup look. But I just wanted to share this eyebrow tinting with you. Alright. 